three main macros, and you fats, carbs, and protein, macronutrients. Your micronutrients are your vitamins and your minerals. You see the difference, macros and micros? Macros, fats, carbs, proteins. Micros, vitamins, minerals. Macros, Yeah. So, a uh, that you want to avoid is trans fat. And in your ingredient list, you want to look for partially hydrogenated oils or just hydrogenated oils. Hydrogenated oils are one molecule away from being plastic. So, it shows you how processed it is and how untrue of an ingredient it actually is. Kraft macaroni and cheese. So the way the ingredient lists go is the most uh, or the highest quantity ingredient is what you're going to see first. And then the lowest quantity is basically what you see last. So the least of anything in here are enzymes, which are very important. And the enriched macaroni is the majority of this product. So that meal does not have, and I know you probably can see this, but Oatmeal does not have anything in parentheses because it's a true ingredient. There's nothing that makes it up. It is whole within itself. But you see an enriched macaroni product, obviously, is not a true ingredient. It's comprised of a variety of other ingredients. Anything enriched as that means it's been completely stripped, and then they had a couple of ingredients thrown back into it, usually vitamins and minerals, but it's usually lacking in fiber, and it usually still um, will spike your blood sugar. So, Hi. for those of you that have seen this brand um, at the store, this is the macaroni and cheese that has a lot more simple ingredients that your body can read and understand, has more true ingredients, and it's a better alternative of macaroni and cheese. So you're gonna cheddar cheese here has one, two, three, four ingredients compared to the last one that had like eight or 10 or something. So, pay attention to those. So these are popular ingredients that you want to avoid. There are a ton of ingredients that you want to avoid, but these are some of the popular ones. High fructose corn syrup, which is obviously a processed sugar. Um, anything that's enriched, soy protein, artificial colors, flavors, sweeteners, and then sodium nitrate. That is basically what you would find in um, your hams, your meats, your deli products. You'd want to look for products that are uncured instead. So their preservative is either cherry juice or a celery juice or something more natural based. These are the type of phrases that you're going to see in a lot of different foods that don't necessarily mean that they're healthy, but they want to try to sell themselves, right? So the word natural is on a lot of products. Made with organic ingredients. 100% vitamin C. There are so many um, juices that are just loaded with sugar that have 100 vitamin C or vitamin C thrown in, and they're not necessarily any good for you. Um, gluten free is a big one. Skittles are gluten free. Twizzlers are gluten free. Doesn't mean that it's good for you. So it's like a vegetable. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, Skittles is another one too. A lot of gummy bears that will say things like made with real fruit juice, um, which gets people thinking, oh, it has real ingredients in it. And then sugar-free is another one where they can be added in artificial sugars, um, or sugar has a bunch of different names, a lot of names that I can't pronounce, but if you would actually Google, you would find a ton of different names for sugar that most people don't recognize, and they're secretly throwing that in. And then heart healthy. Tons of cereal boxes say heart healthy and they're loaded with sugar. They have no fiber and they're lacking nutrients and they really don't do anything for your heart, but they can go ahead and throw that on there. A lot of these labels don't actually have a set definition like natural by the FDA doesn't have an actual like regulated definition. So you can throw that on. Oh, my next slide actually will show. You can throw it on Pepsi. You can throw it on oil, you can throw it on this fruit that's, as you can see, there's nothing about soda that's natural. So it is really misleading. And it's just important that you pay attention to the ingredients. You read the labels and see all of what's in there. One third cup of 
peanut butter. Then we need one fourth cup of chocolate chips. So one fourth cup of the chia seeds. And then you need a, a one fourth of a banana. So one or two pieces. And the honey that helps it to stick all together. They're going to be little snack bites. So something like this size. Like what your mom's doing. Have a decent night.